Meet Penny Earned. She's a typical teenager with typical interests. Penny hears about a financial literacy course being taught at school. She's very curious and wants to find out what it means to be financially literate. For Penny, enrolling in the financial literacy course is the beginning of a life filled with awareness, information, and the knowledge of money matters that will put her on the path to success. Meet Bill Ode. Bill is also a typical teenager. But he and Penny are very different. He sees the flyer too, but financial literacy just doesn't interest him. He's got more important things to do. Let's see what happens to Bill and Penny. In the financial literacy course, Penny learns the importance of saving, investing, and working to earn money for what she wants. She gets a part-time job so she can start saving money to buy a car. Bill, however, doesn't feel like getting a job. He'd rather play video games and hang out. In the financial literacy course, Penny discovers that if she wants to keep her money safe, easy to track, and growing, she'll need to open a bank account. Bill runs into Penny while she's working. She tells him she got the job to earn money to get a car. Bill's impressed by Penny's work ethic, but more than that, he's still hungry. He'd like to buy another slice of pizza, but realizes he's broke. That's when he decides to take Penny's lead and get a job of his own. Bill, however, doesn't open a bank account to save any money. Instead, he frivolously spends all the money he makes on short-term purchases. Penny meets her savings goal, so she heads down to the local dealership and with the help of the salesperson, purchases her first car. Meanwhile, Bill finds out about a bank promotion that will give him $100 if he opens a checking account. So he decides to take advantage of the opportunity. But Bill doesn't manage his account or bother to balance his checkbook. He thinks it's too much of a hassle. He figures if he runs out of money, the bank will just let him know. And they do, but not before they slap him with a slew of overdraft fees. The fees begin to add up and Bill starts bouncing more checks because the fees have eaten up his cash. He's now in debt because he didn't pay attention to his finances and they're spiraling out of control. Because he didn't pay attention, he's paying through the nose. Meanwhile, Penny is loving her new car. And the financial literacy course is also teaching her that she should now start to save money for college tuition. Bill sees Penny driving by in her new car while he waits for the bus. He decides right then and there to get himself a car. But the car loan Bill's offered has an excessively high interest rate because his down payment was too low. Plus, he buys a flashier car to impress his friends and that makes it even more expensive. He works overtime to help keep up with car payments, and before he knows it, Bill just can't make his payments anymore, so he loses the car.
Penny knows from her guidance counselor that a college education is an investment in her future. She's paid off her car loan and has now saved up a good amount of money for her college tuition. She researches and applies for a number of scholarships and financial aid opportunities to further cover the expense. Bill enrolls in college too, but hasn't saved any money to pay for it. He's too lazy to fill out the financial aid, grant, and scholarship applications. Penny has been accepted into a four-year university. Her first year, she lives in the campus dorms, but the second year, she decides to rent an apartment near campus so she needs to find two roommates to split the cost. She does her homework and consults an online roommate screening service to make sure she surrounds herself with quality people. Instead of consulting a roommate referral service, Bill decides to live with his friends, who are fun to hang out with, even though they're financially irresponsible. Penny is inundated with credit card offers in her first semester of college. Because of her good car loan repayment history, she is able to secure the most attractive offer available to college students. She pays off the card in full each month, further strengthening her credit score. Bill signs up for many credit cards and doesn't pay attention to the interest rates or promotional offer terms. He racks up high balances. He forgets to pay his bills on time and his credit score plummets. Because much of her education is funded through grants and scholarships, not to mention what she earns working part-time, Penny is able to put some money aside each month to save for her dream of buying a home. Bill is overwhelmed with his tuition bills and has no extra money to put toward savings. He decides that college is not worth the cost and drops out in his first year to work full time so that he can make money faster. After she graduates from college, Penny lands a great professional job with excellent benefits, including a 401k. Because of her smart financial moves, Penny graduates college with excellent credit, little debt, and a nest egg to buy a small condo. While searching, she meets a real estate professional named Cash Low. Penny looks up his license status on the Department of Real Estate website and learns that he's had suspensions and disciplinary actions. Cash also doesn't have an employing broker, doesn't offer any referral letters, and makes excuses why he doesn't have any. So Penny tells Cash to get lost, and instead enlists the help of an educated real estate professional. He tells her exactly what Penny needs to do to qualify for a home loan how much home she can afford without stretching, exactly what costs she will incur, and what type of loan is right for her. Bill finds out that Penny has bought a condo from her Facebook page and decides that he wants to get one too. But after being turned down for a home loan by a traditional bank because of his poor credit score, Bill goes to see Cash Low, who gives him a high interest loan that is more than he can comfortably afford.
Because Penny has ample room in her household budget and has made wise financial decisions, she's been able to save for a trip to go to Brazil for Carnival, a dream she's had since she was a young girl. Bill is so financially overextended that he falls behind on his payments. And ultimately loses his house, which ruins his already marginal credit. The only trip he's planning is to his parents' basement on the bus, where he's forced to start over. Penny is living happily in her condo. She continues to make her mortgage payments on time and reevaluates her finances for more long term financial planning, retirement, and the goal of trading up to a bigger home in later years when she has a family.